Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, if you could hear, is about my mountain flock. I wanted to finally introduce you guys to my mountain flock. I just um, finally got up here. <laughs> and they're all being so noisy right now. It's hilarious. Here, let me show you guys them. Hi, my babies. So, um, I will introduce all of them to you. Um, it's been a while since we've been up here because it has been snowing. We do have a caretaker of the property who lives here full time and he takes care of our chickens while we're not here. Um, he is my boyfriend's dad's best friend so it kind of works out that he lives here um, because you know this is my, my father-in-law's property so he wanted chickens up here and we had Freddie and Wilma and Fred, obviously Fred ended up being Fred. So we had to bring him up here because he crows a lot and yeah, um, he's been up here for now two years and so has Wilma. Um, I'm so, so heartbroken to say this, but today I just knew something wasn't right. I could just feel it. And when I came here today, um, I knew we just instantly saw that Wilma wasn't here. And the caretaker actually went to the city um, for a little bit to get some things so he wasn't here and um, I couldn't ask him where she was at and I went out in the field to see if she had gotten out and I found her out there she was no longer living um, and he actually told us just now he called us and he told us that she died in the hen house and I knew something wasn't right with her I could tell she wasn't healthy so um, unfortunately, we no longer have Miss Wilma, and I cried about it and was pretty heartbroken, but I composed myself enough to tell you guys about it. So we've got Mr. Fred right here. He is the dad of everything but the two mama hens. One of the mom hens is right here next to him. That is my Swedish flower hen. And she's the mom of this hen that's right next to her. And this guy right here. And then the olive agar that I have back at the house. And then down there is my cream leg bar mom. And that is her daughter. And that is her son right there. And then of course Freddy's the dad. Look at how beautiful he is. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. My boy. Well, hello, cutie. She doesn't look anything like her sister, which is crazy. The white one we have at home, they are the same exact same exact breed and they don't look they look similar they look similar and sh her mom is regulating on her, her they look looks awesome. i know now that she's molted she's so beautiful she's head of she's ahead of the head of the pecking order for sure uh, hey girls come on you guys are so skittish come on Oh, their chests are so full, though. They've already been eating, like, a ton of something. Hi, Fred. Can you crow for me? He's just staring at me right now. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I mean, I was going to say, they, they look similar in, like, shape, but, like, their feather pattern is... And he looks similar to her, too, but... The one we got is like all white. I don't know where she, what that came from, because that's the mom and dad right there. So where did the whiteness come from? The one that we have at home. It came from. From her or him? From the Americana that's in him. Him, yeah. Came out really strong in her. Her crop looks really saggy to me. I don't like that. Look how saggy her crop looks. Yeah, I see that's kind of jiggling. Yeah, that kind of worries me a little bit. <laughs> that's nothing major, that's just sauerkraut. 
No, she doesn't have sour crop, but there is this one thing. It's like the muscle, uh, the muscle gets weak right there, and it can't hold the crop up anymore. And then, then she does get sour crop because it can't digest it right. Well, hi, pretty girl. Hi. You're really cute. Well, hi, sir. You're getting so big and handsome. This is one of Freddy's sons right here. That's my dude right there. Oh, are you eating snow? She just ate some snow. Hey, sir. Ruby, what are you doing, babe? Hey. Oh. <laughs> she just scared that chicken. That's my boy. Yeah, we got four hens and three roosters. So we definitely need a lot more hens. I'm going to get some more for them. Oh, what a sweet boy. That's a good rooster right there. He's very sweet too. He's not aggressive at all. Fred's a little aggressive to like men, but he's a pretty good boy. So this is their air. This is one part of their area. Hey, calm down. This is one part of their area. Um, and it just has this little coop, and then you can go in here. You want to cut their wings now? All right. And then you go in here. Hey, calm down. Go in here. And this is like a covered coop area that has their food and water and stuff so they can come out from out of the snow. And then here's their coop. It's super dirty. I've got to clean it out, but this is their coop, and then it comes out to here, and they've got this huge pasture area, and the whole area is like covered, or like bordered with all this fencing, so nothing has been able to get in here like predator-wise, but I don't really think anything would come up anyways, because these are all hunting dogs, and you know, obviously they're trained to hunt all of that stuff, so... As soon as they come on the property, the dogs alert and then they pretty much take off. So, And they're surrounding this entire property. Literally, there's dogs surrounding this entire property. So, um, yeah, they've been here for well over two years now and never had an issue except obviously Wilma passed away recently. But that's that just happens with chickens, you know. I knew Wilma wasn't doing well because... She hadn't laid an egg in a while, and she did, she never molted, and Fred had molted, and I just knew something wasn't right. And both of the other hens had molted, and they're younger than her, the other mama hens. So um, I just knew something wasn't right with her, and I'm usually right. Usually when I feel like there's something isn't right, that chicken or and other times it's happened, duck, um, they've passed away, so... I feel like I can kind of just naturally tell what's a thriving chicken and which which ones are kind of not doing so well. So anywho, um, I am going to clean out their coop and we've got to trim their feathers because we don't, I don't really want them getting out. I guess one of the roosters is flying over the fence and getting out so. We are going to try to stop that by trimming their wings. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get more videos of their personality and stuff. I'll definitely get a video of me holding Fred so you guys can see how big he is. He's a really big boy. And yeah. So this is my Freddy boy. you can tell 
He's a big old meaty boy. Here, let me get in the sun so you can see how beautiful he is. My handsome, handsome man. I've had this chick, chicken, rooster, since he was four days old. Him and his girl, who recently just passed away. I'm so sorry, Freddy. I'm so sorry. We love him, Miss Wilma, huh? Anyways, I just wanted you guys to see how big this guy is. Freaking monster. Look how long his tail is. Look, I can hold him with one hand, though. He's big, but he's not incredibly heavy. <laughs> he's pretty heavy, but not, like, super crazy heavy. Look at his crazy tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> he's a good boy. He lets me do whatever I want to him. Oh, nice. What are you guys doing in here? Are we going to bed early? Oh, that's a sunbathing boy. What are you doing, weirdo? You're such a weirdo. You're such a weirdo. Yes, you are. You're my weird little boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at us sunbathing. We're such happy rooster sunbathing. I love your tail, Freddy. <coughs> Are we competing for crowing right now? Because it's really annoying. Hey, my pretty boy. Hi. <coughs> Well, hi. What are we doing? Well, that's it for my mountain flock. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed meeting all my birds up here. If you guys did like this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't and would like to, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.